Lymphoma is a common malignancy in dogs, accounting for up to 24% of all canine cancers. Even though lymphoma impacts nearly 100,000 dogs each year, we know that each pet owner's companion is special and unique. That is why we decided to provide a service tailored to the uniqueness of our patients. This is the thesis behind Imprimed service. Because every patient is unique, a prescribed drug can work great for certain patients, but not for others. Veterinary doctors know this and commonly use supplemental information like the cancer's immunophenotype to make informed decisions on treatment. Experienced veterinary oncologists learn over time that certain therapies can be a lot better at treating different subtypes of lymphoma. In fact, immunophenotyping services are the hallmark of the current decision-making process. But what if we take it one step further and make this process more personalized for every patient? What if we could provide customized drug testing information for each patient's live cancer cells? At Imprimed, we analyze both the immunophenotypic information and functional chemosensitivity information of our cancer patients. Then, our AI-based technology uses this information to predict the likelihood of success for various chemotherapies. Our goal is to provide a new unprecedented method of analytical assistance to our dedicated veterinary oncologists before final treatment decisions are made in the clinic. SAGE has 11 hospitals spread out throughout the West Coast. They have four specialty and emergency hospitals in the Bay Area in California. Um, all of those four SAGE hospitals have oncologists and many of our hospitals participate in clinical trials um, as with what we do with Impermed. You know, at, at the time I thought this, and I still do, um, this, is, <laughs> this is great. I mean, it's innovative. Um, a lot of the um, teamwork that we've done together has um, improved and made the, the tests much more rapid turnaround with um, much more information in them. Well, we always use it now. Whenever I have a lymphoma patient, um, the oncologist here in Dublin and I are always offering, and the nurses too, they're always offering this test to, um, to, for the clients. Um, so I think we're always going to be very likely to recommend it um, or at, offer it. The clients, I think they do feel a really strong sense of community when they are asked the question of whether they would like to donate cells from their pets to research. They feel like they are helping advance medical care. They feel like they're helping their pets um, advance medical care. And they feel like they are um, contributing to society in general when they are um, allowed to contribute to science. I can say that from the time working with Infermed starting in 2017 to now, um, I can say that you guys are incredibly enthusiastic. Um, you're open to feedback, which is a huge plus for research because if you're pretty concrete in your beliefs and um, don't want to change, it makes it harder to do research. Um, so I think the, a lot of the oncologists and the nurses appreciate that. If, if we submit a sample and it's not a good sample, you're not going to make outstanding conclusions from those two cells that we submitted. Um, so I think a lot of people appreciate the um, flexibility that Impermed has shown us to try to make sure we're working together as a team to push things forward. What's innovative about us at Impermed is that we took recent advancements in functional precision medicine and utilized them for practical use in the veterinary field. We provide traditional immunophenotyping services and built upon that with a chemosensitivity assay we created to test different drugs in our patients' real live cancer cells. The process for veterinarians using our service is pretty straightforward. After you sign up, we send out a shipment of our proprietary transport media designed to keep canine cells alive on the way to the lab. When you have a patient you'd like to order a test for, simply take an FNA of the tumor, add it to the media tube we sent you, and hand it off to FedEx for next day shipping. For being a part of our program, we'll also send you boxes to ship the samples in and pay for the label. We got you covered. Overall, our service is a quick turnaround time. Brief immunophenotyping reports are sent out within three to four days after fine needle aspiration. Our complete report that includes our drug testing results gets sent out within eight. By the time you meet with your patients again, you will be able to use our report to help you treat them with the drugs that best fight their specific cancer. Our goal at Implement is to provide veterinary oncologists with a complete understanding of their patient's cancer and ultimately enabling them to select a personalized treatment regimen. In the Implement v assay platform, live cancer cells were isolated from patients' own tumor biopsies 
and then cultured on a lap dish under physiological-like conditions. By using high-throughput technology, the cells were tested with FDA-approved chemotherapeutic agents that are commonly prescribed to the cancer indication. Later, we measured different drug responses on these cells, observe how live cancer cells react and predict effective chemotherapeutic agents prior to treatment. While this assay is the crux of our service, it is only a part of a greater whole. In addition to chemosensitivity assay, we also offer immunophenotypic services to clinicians which include a PCR-based assay called PAR and a flow cytometric-based method to subclassify lymphomas. Veterinary oncologists can use these immunophenotypic results along with various clinical and pathological findings to determine cancer prognosis and make informed treatment decisions. With the inclusion of Implement V assay, we can utilize all this data to predict a drug's likelihood of success in each individual patient body. One of the great things about Impermed's service is that we've created a way to introduce machine learning into the field of veterinary oncology with our AI algorithm. By combining clinical data with results from both flow cytometry and our chemosensitivity assay, we've successfully built an algorithm that can predict the likelihood of a patient's cancer will respond to a particular drug. While this approach is one of the most promising prospects in human precision medicine, it hasn't really caught on in the veterinary field, and we're excited to be leading the way. We have PAR, which tells us the genetic lineage of the malignancy. We have flow cytometry, which shows us the specific antigen markers present in a patient's lymphocytes. And we have our chemosensitivity assay, which shows us how effective a drug can be for each patient. But there's a lot of unknowns to consider as well, like the interactions between cancer cells and the tissues that surround them, or even epigenetic factors that might have roles to play. By generating a machine learning algorithm, we're able to map out expectations of a certain drug based on real-life physical characteristics of our patient. Cancer and chemotherapy response are incredibly complex, but because we have such a rich data set taken from actual patient samples, we're able to train our machine learning models to accurately predict the likelihood of a treatment response. And the first publication of this method is currently under review at the Journal of Veterinary and Comparative Oncology. What I've seen in the last year or so uh, with working with Impermed is I've seen a lot more uh, agreement in terms of phenotyping, in terms of trying to figure out the exact type of lymphoma and subtype. So not only can we give them a much more accurate prognostic um, a conversation as well, but also help uh, them to decide what is the most appropriate treatment from initial empirical studies. Um, the other things as well is that especially for two situations, one uh, for patients where they're selecting uh, more conservative options, single agent chemotherapy, say for example, a patient with B-cell lymphoma that may not want to undergo multi-agent uh, CHOP-based or Wisconsin medicine-based chemotherapy, but they're electing say for a single agent doxorubicin or single agent you know, lomustine-based therapies. Uh, by using the Impermet platform, we may be able to better select one single drug if they were to get that as well. And uh, the other situation we've seen it uh, particularly helpful uh, now in the past year is in patients uh, that are starting to relapse. Uh, since I've started working with Impermed, uh, a lot of our patients over the past year, they've been starting to have some early relapses about a year later. And we've been able to now do serial monitoring with repeat Impermed samples. And then we've been able to document if there's been a, a phenotypic shift as well in the lymphoma type, or if it's a similar uh, uh, type, do they still have the same resistance and sensitivity patterns for us to say, is it worthwhile to go back to plan A, the, the same treatment? Or if we're developing intrinsic resistance, um, uh, what's a really good plan B or plan C and that gives us a little bit more information for us to make educated decisions in terms of uh, patient management. So I thought it was a really good uh, idea, and I think that uh, being able to do personalized medicine is the next phase of care on the veterinary front uh, as well as the human front. So how we help implement that and how we help differentiate that per patient is really going to be key. And I think that this was a novel new approach to trying to look at how to pick drugs specific for uh, lymphoma patients. 
I like the new approach, especially if I'm trying to go over this sample with an owner, uh, because when you start to get into advanced diagnostics and how to interpret these results and how to help a client understand why we're making the decisions we are making, um, they like to see the data as well, especially a lot of my clientele is very intelligent and wants to follow along on the decision making process. And your report is very clear. Um, you give it kind of in two different formats, which allows for both a number-based individual, a color-based individual, as well as a categorical type uh, structure to help them see, okay, well, prednisone or dexamethasone is in both of these high categories, so we definitely want to use that drug. Overall, I've been very impressed working with you guys, and I think uh, it's exciting to see where Impromed is going and how this is going to better benefit patients in the future. Our mission here at Imprimat is to provide oncologists with the tools that they need to make more informed decisions about their patients' cancer care. In the process, we hope to be able to give pet owners more peace of mind when making difficult decisions on a disease as devastating as lymphoma. When we can deliver proven results to pets and their parents, we can make a real difference in improving a pet's quality of life.